when, when Jin came to us on this idea uh, through the UN Foundation, it was in colloquial terms, one might say, a no-brainer. The UN, while it works with the private sector, works with foundations, civil society organizations, it often tries to build on local expertise. It tries to uh, harness the uh, skills, uh, the, the skills of uh, NGOs, the skills of foundations, the skills of companies. You heard what Coca-Cola ha has been doing. Uh, it, Dan actually, is, uh, he didn't mention a number of other things which we've been using Coca-Cola's expertise for. For example, we're using their distribution network uh, through their uh, local bottling plants to provide condoms to drivers in Africa, for example. Literature on prevention. Uh, yeah, and, and I remember uh, clearly the time when the Iraq war uh, happened. Coca-Cola provided water to the Iraqi population. Coca-Cola provided water to the victims of Aceh and to the victims of uh, the earthquake in Kashmir. So we're very grateful for what we do. Um, partnerships for, for the UN is not new, actually. We, we have been working on partnerships one way or another, but it really took off when we elected a, a, what I'd call a rock star Secretary General in, way back in 1997. His first speech to the outside world was, we cannot do it alone. We must engage all the actors. Governments have a role to play. Civil society has a role to play. Private sector has a platform, and so do foundations. And it is in the same year, another rock star came on the scene, which is Ted Turner. And since that time, the UN has never been the same again. We have moved into partnerships in a very comprehensive, concrete way. My office was set up, uh, as uh, uh, Michael mentioned, to serve as the counterpart to the UN Foundation's relationships. Over the years, we've grown into an office of partnerships. Uh, we manage a number of other uh, uh, initiatives. We act as facilitators. And, and really, we learn from what Peggy has done. Pe Peggy Delaney, as some of you might be aware, was uh, advisor to the Secretary General on how best the UN can reform itself to work with civil society. And the far-reaching recommendations uh, under what is called the Cardoso Report, uh, because the panel was chaired by former President of Brazil, uh, President Cardoso, called for a more robust engagement by the UN and, uh, with the private sector, with civil society. We recently started uh, a new fund for democracy building. And based on the recommendations of that report, the platform for that is civil society engagement. We have a commitment that at least 60% and uh, down the road converting to 80% of our programs will be implemented directly by CSOs rather than by UN organizations. So it is quite a change for the UN as well, uh, for, for UN agencies not to be directly engaged in implementation, but they provide advisory services to that. So things have changed at the UN. It's certainly not enough. Uh, we, we feel that initiatives like the Blue Planet Run will raise the profile on some of the pressing challenges which you have. Uh, you all know that uh, it, the, uh, aside from the one billion people we have, uh, who don't have access to, to safe drinking water, there are, there's a greater number which does not have access to sanitation facilities. So if we start with that, you have a multiplier effect, and you, and you, heard, you heard the Kenya example. That is the classic thing which we talk about. If you get people safe water, clean water, they'll be healthy. Their IQ goes up. They, they can study better. They can become income earners and create sustainable livelihoods. So it's really about wealth creation rather, and less about poverty alleviation. And that's... That's the kind of business model we want to, uh, we've adopted and we want to pursue in a very strong way. So thank you very much and, and delighted that we are part of this initiative.